What's up guys? In this video, we are going to DIY vacuum bag a fiberglass part. In this case, it's gonna be the rear and front wing for my new updated hydrofoil. If you haven't already, go check out my page where I made this one. Part four isn't out yet. Um, hopefully I'll get to the lake in the next few weeks and we can test that out. But for now, I'm already working on Mach 2 of that hydrofoil. And so in this video, we're gonna do a DIY cheap version of vacuum bagging. So I'm gonna cut three pieces of this, put three layers on each side of this wing using this epoxy. And then on Amazon, I got these vacuum bags. They're literally just for clothes, but I think they're gonna serve the purpose. I got like six bags and a little hand pump, which I'm gonna use my shop back, but I got a little, it came with a hand pump. I think it was like 18 bucks or something. And then also on Amazon, I got this peel ply, which goes around the wet epoxy before you put it in the bag. And then this uh, breather bleeder, which goes around all of it so that it can actually vacuum the air out and has a little bit of like cushion and it soaks up excess uh, resin. So I'm gonna get this started and then hopefully that uh, everything's gonna fit inside that bag and we can get that going. So stay tuned. All right, well, it's in there. That was a really quick process. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just let that dry. I'm only doing this small wing for now because this whole print probably took, you know, like, I don't know, five hours. So if it's a complete loss, I won't be as upset. So if this one turns out good, then I will move on to the big one. So yeah, hopefully in a couple hours, I think I'm gonna get the hand pump on it, see if I can get maybe a little bit more air out, but We'll see. Looks like there might be some air around back here, but if I need to add some more epoxy, then I will. You can kind of see right there. Looks like there's still some air in though. So I need to, I'm gonna vacuum this a little bit more, but I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get. It's been about three hours for this to cure. Um, it's pretty hard. Looks like all the air got out of this little pocket right there, which is what I was worried about. Should be good there. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Feels pretty, pretty good. So 
But yeah, let's open this up. Hopefully this is not stuck to the plastic, but either way, these are disposable, so it doesn't really matter. So let's see. How do we get this open? Oh yeah, that's peeling off just fine. Wow, we can actually probably reuse that bag now. That's awesome. I was not expecting that at all. Wow. Definitely gonna be a little bit of sanding and trimming, but let's see how easy the peel ply comes off. There's the back half right there. Yeah. Definitely this is gonna need some sanding just to smooth it out, but there's definitely some air bubbles, but I think what I'm gonna do is maybe get a syringe or something, try to inject some epoxy in there, or maybe just leave it. I mean, it's three layers, so I'm not gonna sand it down through that, so. I'd rather it all be one piece and have some bubbles versus take that risk. So let me try to peel off this front side. All right. And some air bubbles right there, right where the, uh, the valve was that I sucked the air out of that bag. So maybe I'll get a syringe Or just sand it out and maybe just do some epoxy on it and it just it's just not gonna be perfect so see how easy this is to trim all right that was much easier than laminating each layer on my first hydrofoil so as long as I have the bags for it the reason why I was able to do that for this too is this is modular, that other one wasn't. So I'm gonna let this keep curing. I probably jumped the gun on taking it all apart, but I was really excited to check it out. Um, plus I was, this was more of like a test piece for me because like I said earlier in the video, this was a quick print versus this one right here. I mean, that's, that's huge compared to this one. And I have a jumbo bag for it, which I haven't even tested to see if it's gonna fit, but it should. This is actually the second wing I've had to prep for this one, because this first one didn't, the this last piece didn't print the last like couple of millimeters, and so I just made it work and still glued it together, but it's just ugly, and I got this new printer, which I found on the side of the road. That's in another video. Go check it out on my channel. And the quality of this printer is just so much better than my old one, so. That's what these are both printed with. Um, this is more mostly now just a backup in case I screw this one up. Maybe eventually I'll do some lamination on it, but I'm not really worried about it right now. I still haven't even tested this wing out. So if this ends up being a great hydrofoil and I wanna make another one, then sure, maybe I'll use that. So we'll get this one going then.
guys. So there's still a lot to clean up. I got to get all in there. That didn't quite laminate how I wanted it to. And I got a little piece section up here that's kind of delaminating. But overall, it's about like 90%. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so this piece that I got all sanded down, this is kind of a problem. And then the seam is starting to come apart right there all around the back. So I think what I'm gonna do is mix up some epoxy, brush it all around the edges of everything. Um, and in there, maybe even inject some in there or something, wrap it in my peel ply with some of the breather cloth around it. And I think I might vacuum it again and just try to really get all the air bubbles out. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that works. So I'll get this one all cleaned up, see if I need to do the same thing to that, which I probably will anyway and uh, put them back in the vacuum bags.